Okay, it's uh, time to start. Uh, I, and I want to welcome all the members of the audience for being here. Um, just the warm up for this program was pretty awesome. And so I think uh, everybody here is in for a treat. And I'm pretty sure we'll be having uh, people gathering on the catwalks upstairs uh, because the sound goes straight up here. And that's a, a wonderful thing. So uh, thank you all for the, to the audience members who are here. And I want to thank all of, the, all of these folks behind me who came from Howard to be part of this program. Special thanks to C.C. Henry and the Office of Communications and Media Relations for all of their work in support of the musical programs in the atrium and the Clinical Center DEIA Advisory Council for this particular event. The title of the program is A Journey Through Song of the Underground Railroad, and it is the capstone event of the Clinical Center's observance of Black History Month for 2024. Now, there are uh, a total of four different uh, musical groups that you're, you'll hear from, and again, we heard them all warming up, and um, I think uh, it's going to be great. Now, we do have a number of proud Bison alumni who are here. And one of them is the acting executive officer for the Clinical Center, Isla Flanagan. She's got the jacket to prove it. And so, uh, so uh, Isla will add a few words of welcome uh, as well. Hi everyone and happy Black History Month. I'm so, so, so proud to be here um, as a Howard alum myself, HU. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Vibe check pass, vibe check pass. Um, but this is actually also Howard's 157th birthday week. Um, so I couldn't be more excited to not only be celebrating um, our wonderful institution that has been responsible for so much black history um, and so many leaders in black history from Thurgood Marshall to Kamala Harris. Um, this is black history and creating black history is what we do. So I'm so excited um, that we get to experience just a taste of some of the musical talent uh, that has that is currently at and is and has come out of Howard University. So um, we're happy to hear from you, and I'm going to welcome Tyree Austin to the stage to introduce his. Oh, there you go. <laughs> welcome. How you guys doing this afternoon? Thank you. We're so elated. We're so excited to be here. We are the Howard University Department of Music. We have a lot of representation for our music department, and we're going to put on an exciting show commemorating the spirit of our ancestors. So without further ado, we're going to get started with the program. So for the first group, we have the HU Jazz Singers. It is our jazz ensemble that we have at the uh, university level. It was created in the spring of 2002 from our director and founder, Kenetra Miller, just so people can get the style of learning how to sing the jazz style. So this first song is entitled Free. It was written by one of our former HU Jazz Singer students when we did our concert at the BNO Railroad Museum last spring. So without further ado, let's welcome the HU Jazz Singers. Change, chase the light, bravely change. We must fight. 
jazz singers. Now we're going to move to one of the classical components of our program. So Howard University has a rich legacy of um, classical music and just um, embedding that idiom into our students. The classical voice area is very rich and has a very rich legacy. In the department, historically, we have a lot of um, great alumni that have come from the classical voice area, which includes uh, Lillian Avanti, Louis Von Jones, Hazel Harrison, Jesse Norman, just to name a few. So without further ado, let's welcome our classical students. Peace. 
Wasn't that just beautiful? Let's give them another round of applause. Yes. Thank you, Sana and Kayla. So we're gonna move on to the next segment of our program. We're gonna bring up Sassy, which is our all-female vocal jazz ensemble that we have at Howard. So Sassy was started about, about 15 years ago. It became a very famous ensemble at the university just because they became known to do a lot of university programming and singing at a lot of events. They've also done a lot of work outside the university as far as open up for different museums and showcases and things of that nature. So Sassy actually is spelled S. A-A-S-Y, which stands for Soprano Alto Alto Soprano. And it's also a homage of the famous jazz vocalist, Miss Sarah Vaughn. Her nickname was also moniker, her name was Sassy. So without further ado, let's bring Sassy. So fast and they ain't going back. God's gonna trouble the water. See those children dressing green. God's gonna trouble the water. They're moving on down to the Jordan stream. God's gonna trouble the water. Bye. 
Already know. Let's give them a gig hand. Yeah. Thank you for swinging us while we wade through the water, Sassy. Let's give a big hand for this rhythm section that we have behind us. Mr. Sam Prather on piano, Herman Bernie Jr. on bass, and Mr. Kelton Norris on the drums. So now we're going to segue to another classical segment of our program. So let's give a big round of applause and welcome our next classical students as they come.
to camp ground. Oh, don't you want to go to that gospel feast that
just so powerful, right? Oh, man. Thank you all for blessing us. Let's give another hand for Khalil and Sasana, those amazing, amazing soloists. Thank you. Now we're gonna move right on to the next segment of our program, which we're gonna feature Afro Blue, which is the premier vocal jazz ensemble in Howard. Afro Blue was founded in the spring of 2002 by our founder and director, Kanetra Miller. She wanted to establish a group that showcased the high talented ability of the students while also being competitive and focusing on the straight ahead jazz style. So since Afro Blue has been established, it has rose to critical acclaim and has become well known throughout the uh, DMV area as well as around the world. Actually back in 2011, Afro Blue was featured on the Sing Off, which was an acapella competition show the same season as the Pentatonics. Um, Afro Blue has also been the winner of numerous Downbeat Awards, which is the highest honor in jazz. So we're gonna bring up Afro Blue to give us a special presentation. Um, for this first tune specifically is by yours truly. I wrote this tune when we went to the b &O Railroad Museum last spring, and I was just inspired to write about the, um, just the traumas and the issues and everything that our ancestors had to do escaping to freedom. So we're gonna bring up a quartet of Afro Blue in this first song titled Trauma Express. One, a two, a one, two, three. <clears throat> so like I said, I wrote this song when I was inspired to go through the museum just because I felt all of the pressure, all of the burdens, all of the, just the struggles that our ancestors had to go through when going through that such that historic place. So I decided to write about it in the form of a groove, an samba groove, just because it expresses how we're able to just suppress these emotions that our ancestors went through when they are very evident that they happen. So this is the trauma expressed. All aboard the one-way train to find success in life. Some ride with ease, but I ride with pain and strife. Built from hands of those whose blood and tears still flow through me. Through me. Every day I ride and never can find a seat. I'm all so tired. This car is too full and it feels like I can't breathe. Oh, I can't, I can't breathe. I look around and find all eyes are staring at me. All eyes oh, are Oh, why me. do I have to ride in distress? Ride in I'm distress. I'm oppressed on the trauma express. express. As the train comes to a stop, I just want to get off. I want off. I tell myself to keep riding and ease your thoughts. Just ease your thoughts. This car is too full and it feels like I can't breathe. Oh, I can't, I can't breathe. I look around and find all eyes are staring at me. All eyes oh, on why me. Why do I have to ride in distress? Ride in I'm oppressed on the trauma express. express. Riding this train for so long. The fuel is low, the wheels are not strong. Same goes as to how I feel. Life sometimes doesn't feel real. Riding this train for so long. The fuel is low and the wheels are not strong. Same goes as to how I feel. 
life sometimes doesn't feel real. Doesn't feel real. One day we will arrive looking back on the journey with a freed mind. One day we will arrive and get back on the journey with a freed mind. One day we will arrive and get back on the journey with a freed mind. One day we will arrive and get back on the journey with a freed mind. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we want to bring up the other members of Afro Blue because we're going to sing this spiritual tune that we have next. So this arrangement of, uh, as you see, Go Down Moses, was actually arranged by John Blake Jr., who, uh, God rest his soul, he was a jazz violinist who uh, ranged for Afro Blue, I believe back in uh, 2010, 2011, around that time. And so he arranged this arrangement of Go Down Moses, which you'll find is in the modal style of jazz, which is a style that often is um, associated with the uh, post-bop era, bebop era, with like John Coltrane and that style of music. So we hope you all enjoy Go Down Moses. This will also feature soloists by Herman Bernie Jr. on bass, Sam Prather on piano, and Miss Kaya Jana Donaldson. Go down, Moses. Go down, Moses. Go down, Moses. Go down, Moses. Israel was in Egypt's land. Go down, Moses. Go down, Moses.
Thank you all so very much. <laughs> Again, Ms. Kaya Jana Donaldson on solo, Herman Bernie Jr. on bass, Sam on piano. All right, so this next song is another special song to Afro Blue. Um, this song was also in result of us connecting with the BNO Railroad Museum. They actually contacted Afro Blue to sing and tell the first ever story of a slave by the name of Henry Box Brown who mailed himself to freedom in a wooden box for 27 hours from Richmond, Virginia to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And so um, we're going to tell that story for you all, and we hope that you enjoy. Here's Afro Blues, Henry Box Brown. Here you see a man by the name of Henry Brown Ran away from south to the north Which he would not have done But they stole all his rights But they'll never do the like again Brown laid down the shovel and the hoe. Oh, 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 oh. Down in the box he didn't go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown. In the box by express he did go. Then the orders they were given and the cars did start away. Roll along, roll along, roll, roll, roll along. Down to the landing where the steamboats met to bear the baggage off to the north. When they packed the baggage on, they turned him on his head. Their poor brown like to have died. There were passengers on board who wished to sit down, and they turned that box down on its side. Brown laid down 
the shovel and the hole. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown. In the box by express he did go. When they got, got to, to the cars, cars they, they throwed off the box, and down upon his head he did fall. Then he heard his neck crack, and he thought it was broke, but they never throwed him off anymore. When they got to Philadelphia, they said he was in port. And Brown then began to feel so glad. He was taken on the wagon and carried to the place and left this side up with care. Friends gathered round and asked if all was right. And down on the box, they did rap. Brown answered them and said, yeah, all is right. He was then set free from his pain. Brown laid down the shovel and the hole. Down in the box he did go. Say no more slave work for Henry Box Brown. In the box by express he did go. So no more slave work for Henry Box Brown. In the box. I express he done go. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. So this next tune is called One Plus One, and it's original tune. It's an original tune written by me. Um, pretty much just talking about unity and being all together. The words say, our love is as deep as the sea. So if you know how deep the sea is, then that's how deep our love is for each other. All right. And I hope you all enjoy it. One plus one, that makes you and I equals we. Roots come from my soul, built on solid ground. ground. Blessings from above all come raining down. Raining down. They don't want us to see the prophecy of who we're meant to be. One plus one equals we. Uh, is as deep as the oh. sea. We are all connected. We are all connected under one family one tree. Plus one. one plus one. That makes you and I equals we. Equals we. Equals we. Equals we. Equals we.
Thank you all so much. So that concludes the Afro Blue section. So we want to bring everybody up here for our final. Um, this is going to be a strong song um, titled Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around. This is a very powerful song, an important song that was played a crucial part to the civil rights movement, a uh, protest song. So we're going to proclaim that we have the victory and nobody is going to turn us around. Gonna let nobody, nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody. Turn me around, I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, yeah. Marching into freedom land, ain't gonna let injustice Turn me round, oh, turn me round, oh, turn, turn me round. Ain't gonna let injustice turn me round. Gonna keep on, keep on walking, keep on talking. Keep on talking. Ain't gonna let racism turn me round. No, no, turn me round. no, I won't. Turn me Ain't gonna let racism. No, no, no. Marching, marching into freedom land. Oh, ain't gonna let oppression turn me round. Oh, turn, turn me round. oh, turn me round. Ain't gonna let oppression turn me round. 
keep on walking, keep walking, keep on walking, keep on, keep on talking, marching into freedom land. Ain't gonna let nobody. Nobody turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let nobody. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on marching, marching into freedom. Oh, ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, nobody, nobody, ain't gonna let nobody. I'm gonna keep on, keep walking. Keep talking, marching into freedom land. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Oh, turn me round. Oh, turn me round. Ain't gonna let no. Thank you all so very much, the Howard University Department of Music. Oh my gosh, that calls for one more HU. Yes. Um, if, there, if there's any Howard alum in the building, if you could come to the front, let's go ahead and take a group picture. Um, please stay close. Oh, all HBCU love, all HBCU love, but Howard first, Howard first, Howard first. <laughs> right. <laughs> 